Las Parcelas. The most beautiful place you can be. And this brings me back to my childhood in the country. Back in Puerto Rico. Working with my father. <laughs> he used to he used to take me with him. Have you looked at the mirror at the mirror on the side of the house? On my house? Yeah, well that's my father and me working in the farm. I was born in a little house like that. We had no running water. We had to go far, far away to get buckets of water for cooking, to take a bath, to wash clothes, for everything. But came to the United States. I was only 16 years old. And I still had to go to work. Yes, I had to go to work. And uh, I thought I was coming here to, to go to school. But no way, because nobody was going to support me. So I had to go to work and support my mother and my brother still that were back in Puerto Rico. <laughs> When this was all only open space, and no fences, only cars going in and out, in and out, you know, and a lot of drugs uh, going on on the next corners. So that was that was in those years that we were Sister Cairo and and a group of women. We, we used to with the police, of course. <laughs> Staying in the corner and say, no drugs here tonight. And uh, we were able to clean the neighborhood, yes. After that, we got in touch with the Horticultural Society, and then they came to our rescue. They, uh, they came and uh, started working with us. And the first thing I, he said was, we want trees because this was just dirt and uh, now we just have to try and teach young people like Louis so that he can continue the job that somebody else started, right? Mm. And I'm not young anymore, I'm 80 years old. And I'm still here trying, trying to, trying to clean a garden.